Hey boys and boys, um, so I actually recorded my entire video on Thursday, but um, I never had time to upload it. I really apologize. Um, stuff has been really busy because we're all um, working on my college's non-discrimination policy, so I've been doing a lot of meetings with that, and then I have like work and classes and everything. Um, so I'll definitely be better about that next week because I won't have like hours upon hours of stuff to do. Um, so yeah, um, here's my video for this week. Hey boys and boys, um, today is Thursday. I might have to redo this video later, um, but hopefully I can get it done in time. Um, I have work later um, at 2 and it's like 1.30. Um, so this week's topic um, is actually something um, that we're doing um, for my friend Heather because um, she's in a play called um, I'm Not a Feminist But, um, and she's been like doing research and stuff. Um, plus, like, I thought that like general interest that would be sort of an interesting topic. I don't know, like, I kind of grew up in like going to like folk festivals with like hippies and feminists and stuff, um, and like listening to a lot of. Um, feminist musicians so like I sort of like used to have a bigger place um like I wouldn't consider myself a feminist um I'm definitely for like equal rights and everything though and I think it's ridiculous that women still tend to make less than men um and yeah um so like I mean um I think like extreme Feminists are a little out there, but like more like moderate feminism just definitely like makes sense to me. I just like um I have a third wave feminism club on campus and um they do definitely allow a place for third gender people and um gender queer and even men and trans men, um and they do try to do stuff like with different genders, like, other than just, like, female feminism, um, and, like, I've considered going to that, but I feel like at this point in my transition, if I show up to a predominantly female group, um, that has the word feminism in the title, I'm not going to be read as male, um, so, like, maybe, um, if, like, I start tea soon or something, um, I might eventually start going, because it, like, seems really interesting, but I'm just really uncomfortable with being, the idea of, like, being in a female space when I'm going to be read as female. So I'm gonna, like, wait and see, um, whether or not I end up doing that at some point before I graduate. So, yeah. Um, and questions. Um, Kaden, do you think it's fair for them to ask you to be legally male before joining a fraternity? Um, we don't have Greek, we don't have Greek life on campus, um, and I'm quite happy with that. Um, I don't think it makes sense, but you also have to keep in mind, like, the good old boys club thing of with fraternities and sororities, and you just kind of have to, like, I, I think that it makes sense that they are that close-minded, um, so, um, like, whether it's right or not, like, it's definitely not okay, but, um, yeah. Fraternities and sororities are just kind of a funky business. Like, I know they're not all stereotypical party houses, but, um, I don't know. I, I'm not missing Greek life at all. Um, and then Alex, like, did you have, like, do you have, like, feminine phases where you think that, like, and, um, honestly, since I've started since I knew and like learned about and started identifying as trans um I never looked back um like I was realizing that the other day um but I mean 
I don't know. Um, I mean, even, like, when I was female identified, my mom would complain about my clothes a lot and tell me that I wore too masculine. Um, but, like, at that point, like, I would still occasionally wear dresses just to, like, honestly, I would wear dresses to fuck with people, um, because they'd get really confused because I never wore dresses or anything. Um, plus they're swishy, which is fun. I don't know. Um, I mean, a couple years ago, um, I, like, put on my friend's tutu, and I was prancing around in it, and I looked like a guy in a skirt, and it was glorious and awesome and wonderful. Um, so I guess, like, I, I never, I, like, I just, like, with me, like, I never looked back, and I never really had, like, I never went back and forth, really. Um, so yeah. And then, uh... Xander's question, um, wanted to know about study abroad. I've been considering studying abroad first semester of my junior year, um, and I'm either planning on going somewhere French-speaking or English-speaking, um, since those are the two languages I can talk, um, decently. Like, I, I really wanted to take other languages, but Leslie doesn't offer other languages, um, like, they only offer French, Italian, Spanish, and German. Um, so, like, there isn't really, I don't know, I'm, I'd rather go to France or England or Scotland or something. Um, except the problem is, I know that if I study abroad, I'm not going to want to come back, um, to here. Um, so I may end up just not doing it and maybe traveling after I graduate. Um, since I'll be poor forever anyways, so I might as well get it over with. Um, so yeah, um, oh, um, the biggest storm ever. I'm going to show you my progress on my loom, um, in a second. Anyways, um, I <laughs> worked on this for three hours this morning in class, um, cause like doing the warp threads took forever, um. And, yeah, um, so that's my loom again. Um, question, 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 question. I have a panic button in my room, so I made a don't panic sign. So, um, my question is this, for this week, um, is, do you get that reference? And if you do, do you like it or not? Because that's kind of the awesomest book slash movie ever. Um, so yeah, have a great weekend.